Okay, so here I finished doing the collar and you can see what it, it looks like. This is still the inside. The right side is still on in the inside. So I have my two sleeves that I previously did. I have put in a stitch marker here to show me what is the right side of the work and the wrong side. I've already sewn in all my tails on both sleeves and on my sweater. So now you don't see any of those um, uh, the little tails there. I trimmed it there. So now here what we're going to do um, is we're going to start getting our sweater ready so that we could sew on our sleeves. Now here I folded the top. This is the, the top is the white area. I folded the sleeve in half and then I put a little stitch marker just to give me the center. I want to be able to line that up here with the top seam so I make sure that everything's lining up nice and uh, even. I did that on the other side too. So here I always uh, do this um, to keep the right sides so I can know what is the right side and then I can flip it over. This is of course the wrong side. This way it helps me know what um, which side to sew uh, after I've sewn in all my tails because I want to sew those in before I get this started. So now let's here get ready to sew in our sew our um, sleeves here to our sweater. Okay, so I've opened up the sweater here so that I can sew this on. If you need, want to use, you can use the knit clips to hold it in place. Now here, since I already know that this is the right side with my little marker here, I'm going to go ahead and put that facing down because I'm going to be sewing I'm doing one edge here, so um, you're going to do the same thing on the other edge. So here, I'm going to go ahead and get this. I have my um, marker here so that I know that I can line that up with the seam. This is still the wrong side, meaning the side that goes on the inside of the work. And then this, I have a little stitch marker on here showing the right sides. So I want to put my right sides together, this way they're facing each other, so that when I sew and I turn it over, the seams are all on the inside, okay? So that's really important. Here it tells you to measure down four and a half inches. If you are doing the uh, 12 month and five inches for the 18, six inches down from the, for the 24 um, months, I found that mine was exactly about four and a half, so I don't have to really do anything for my piece. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Once I know that this is in the center, and I'm gonna do in both sides, I'm going to use one of my knit clips here to hold it in place. You don't have to do that. I like to work a lot of times from the center out so I could work from here out then come back and finish this. You can fit, go all the way across if you like. Just make sure that you don't stretch your work. You want to make sure, I mean you may have to stretch it if it's a little bit um, too sh narrow or short. But here I just put my little clips. I love these little clips. so. I'm just going to put it a little bit down. Once I get it going, I just want to make sure it's not moving along the way. So here, it's up to you how you do it. You're going to just sew here across. So I'm just going to sew with a whip stitch. Do the, the type of stitch that you like a lot, that you prefer. Um, I don't understand why this is shaking here. So I'm just going to sew across here. I'm going to make a little knot. And I could tie, I could hide that knot. If you want to do a blanket stitch, a seam, whichever seam you prefer, I'm going to go through the both of my stitches here, the little V's. I'm going to try to hide that tail as I go along. Let me move that over there, and just go through it. So across, let me move the stitch. Now that I got it cut there, it's not going to move. Go through my stitches. And I'm grabbing the top stitch and then the post. I'm going to work like this all the way across. So, we've been having a really bad heat wave and I haven't been able to work in here. It's just too hot. And um, now it's raining, so I thought I'd take advantage of it. So here, I'm going to work all the way across to the other side. I'm going to repeat this on my other sleeve. Once I have this sewn in, then I will go ahead and sew the sides. So once you see this, you can see how it's looking inside. Nice and flat. It looks really pretty. Remember, the right sides are facing each other.
in a couple of times in the edges because that seems to be the place where um, a lot of times the um, seams will rip off and then here I'm just going to sew in the tail into the work just kind of weave it in and out in and out on that seam there I can go back and then now I'll just trim it off right there okay so now you can see that my my little sleeve is sewn on if I turn it over you could see that it's nice and even now I'm going to turn my work and I'm going to sew my second sleeve, then I'll come back and then I'll show you how we close how we close this off. Okay, now I've sewn both sleeves on, so it just looks like that, kind of a little weird. Um, but then of course, once we're going to sew, now we're going to sew the sides. So all you're going to do is just pick up your sweater, just like that. So now you see the shape, right? So the right side is still to the inside. All our right sides are in. We're working on the wrong side, meaning the part of the outfit that goes inside inside the body. So here now we're going to do the same thing. We sewed the sleeves this way. We're going to do it across here. Now you want to make sure that you match up your little space here. And you can use a knit clip to keep it in place, but it'll hold pretty um, well because it's kind of... It, wants to give its own shape. The only thing the thing that I really want to tell you guys that's super important that you remember is that you want to make sure your rows are matching up, meaning that they're even. You don't want it to be sewn where when you look at it this is up and then the next one's down. So here you could put clips. You could count your rows. You're gonna put your clips there. Let me go back so you can see more what I'm doing. You can just make sure it's nice and even everything matches up don't stretch it keep it nice the nice shape you can put your knit clips to hold it in place and these I got a Hobby Lobby but I'll put a um, link if you want to buy them from my Amazon store um, they also they have them at Hobby Lobby um, I I have I haven't seen them at I think I saw them at Michael's, but I don't know if they have a at Joanne. So anyway, you just clip it, and it helps to just keep everything in place. Sometimes they're a little hard to open. You just kind of guide them. So there, you're going to do clip on your sides. And then you're just going to start sewing. The same way I sewed the sleeves, I'm going to begin here at the edge, work in. And if you want, you could start here from the center, work down, come back, and then start here. You know, like from here, there, then there. But... If you put the clips, it's going to hold it nice in place. When you're sewing, make sure all your rows are lining up. If I see this row here, then my next row, is the row is right there. So you want to make sure all your seams, all your rows match up. So look nice and pretty. It won't be lopsided. So I'm going to go ahead and sew both of my side seams once I have it here. Remember then that this is the wrong side of the work the right side is on the inside I'm going to finish sewing here just the same way I did this here okay everyone I have finished sewing my sides and it's still uh, inside out meaning the right side is still inside and so now to do the sleeves what they call the roll hem sleeves you're going to do it the same way we did here um, here in the sleeves and the uh, hem are worked in the same way so I'm just going to show you how we would do it on uh, the sleeves you're just going to get uh, your your um, piece here and then I'm sorry guys the camera's kind of shaky on the foundation row here um, where the, we started our our sleeves you're not going to have a full stitch you're just going to have like one like the bottom of the se of the stitch right just like here if you look at our stitch it's only one little loop you don't have two because your um, your work was starting from here from here going up so what you're going to do is you're going to join your yarn in one of the first stitches here edges there and then you're going to do one single crochet around every one of those stitches and you do this on all your sleeves and your bottom so you're just going to join here 
I'm going to do one chain there and then I'm going to start doing a single crochet in every stitch all the way around and you're only going to have one little um, loop there because it's not the chain it's the foundation part the opposite end so go do one single crochet every stitch all the way around when I get here to the end I'm going to slip stitch into that first stitch then I'm going to go chain one up do a single crochet in every stitch for six rows is it six rows yeah six rounds but um I'm just going to do it on the back loop just like we did here on the collar so it's going to be the same way so let me go ahead and do this for you and we'll come back and then I'll show you what I'm talking about then you would repeat that on the bottom around the hem and it'll create this little rolled rolled um, edge like it has the collar there Okay, I've come to the end here, so now what it tells me is to slip stitch to, to join here. Okay, now it wants me to do um, six rows of um, single crochet in the back loop only. I'm going to chain one and I'm going to go into that back loop only. I'm going to need a um, stitch marker to mark my rounds and then you're going to repeat just in the back loop and how we did for the uh, little neck area so when I come here to my last stitch I'm going to do it in the back loop only I'm going to continue right here without um, slip stitching or anything just working in rounds so I'm going to do that for both sleeves and then the bottom of the um, sweater the bottom edge now this will give you that cur curving kind of like the rounded up appearance around the, the sleeves and the bottom edge. If you don't like that you could just do one you know one um, round of of the single crochet. It's up to you. I'm just going to go ahead and finish this and then I'll come back and then I'll show you the finished product but that would be it. You're just... Okay everyone I finished doing my um, rows here. I only did a f I do did less on the bottom because I didn't want it to roll up along the waist. I kind of wanted it to stay stiff. So now here I'm just going to turn it inside out so that it could be the right side will be out. We'll get the other little sleeve here. I did have a stitch marker marking the right side so now it's here on the right side. And now all you need to do is kind of roll up the little sleeves with those little group, those little um, stitches in the back loop only. It should stay nice and folded up. I didn't want it to fold up that way on the bottom so I only did the finishing one edge, one row. And then here in the collar you just roll it down like that, the front, just like that. And it's all done. You could do whatever color you like and like I said it comes in the three sizes. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. I had to break it up in a few um, few videos because when they're too long um, it doesn't seem to get people get tired and they want like a break and it's harder for me to do a video if it's gonna take me like two hours to do that's a lot of um, filming time so this way it's easier for me to get them up and on there for you without letting you get bored I hope you enjoyed this video please be sure to subscribe if you haven't already done so hit that like button and remember always that God loves you thank you so much for watching